Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This is a Windows 10 build update and video, as I like to do, which time Microsoft really released a new build of Windows 10. I usually do a video covering what's new. I'm here on my uh, virtual machine uh, running on my Surface laptop too because this is a minor change and I really just wanted to make sure that I've got this as it's a documented because I think it might be a significant build number but there are no new features. So this is build 20279 which is from the FE or code name which is Iron release branch and um, we had uh, what, 20277 last week and this is essentially the same bill but what Microsoft is saying is that they want to test out their ability to quickly follow a flight with another flight but actually what I think this is 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 the final version of from the FE release branch and um, that's going to be used for other things like Windows 10 X maybe Windows Server and desktop clients aren't going to get um, anything from this branch so uh, that's going to be coming the next branch will be coming later next year and windows insiders can get that through the uh pre-release branch which you'll see in my other video of 21 uh, 277 which shows you those new features so there's new features in that build and in this build there isn't but this build number may be significant but uh if you had uh, 20277 last week uh, for Windows Insiders, then you'll, you won't see any changes. So this doesn't have anything like the context aware um, splash screens or anything else like that. You, obviously, you do have the option to install the uh, 21277, which is the from the pre-release, which has all the new features in. But uh, I think at the moment... This is the default build. You have to manually choose that. And then probably next week we will get signed off from the FE release and we'll all be back on these uh, pre-release builds. So this is probably the last one from that FE release. So th there's no new features to show you on there. There are some known issues. It's just a few. Uh, the system storage one is still uh, an, an issue. Uh, let me show you. So this managed disk and volumes doesn't work on this build. That's one of the known issues. Uh, there's some, it's still some issues with it, it hanging during the installation process. But I haven't seen that at all. And there's a couple of taskbar pin issues and uh, an error when you sign on to Microsoft account apps or Microsoft uh, or apps that use Microsoft account. So that's it. That's the changes. Just a quick video to show you really what's changed with these releases. This might be a significant build. We might see this in Windows 10X. Who knows? But uh, certainly for new features, we're going to be on the pre-release. And I'll have all those on my YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.